We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This familiar expression, which is commonly used during the Stations of the Cross, uh, signals for us that the season of Lent is upon us. Lent begins this year on Ash Wednesday, March 5th, a 40-day season of preparation, of renewal, as the Church continues its pilgrimage toward the celebration of Easter. The season of Lent means many things to, to many different people. For many of our brothers and sisters who are preparing to enter the church during the Easter Triduum, uh, it's a time of preparation, of purification, and enlightenment as they prepare for the Easter sacraments, baptism, confirmation, and the Eucharist. For those of us who are already baptized, uh, Lent is our annual 40-day time of uh, retreat in which we are invited to embrace the traditional disciplines of prayer and fasting and almsgiving uh, to renew our faith, uh, to uh, embrace the cross, to embrace the Paschal mystery, to enter into the very heart of our Catholic faith with all of our brothers and sisters throughout the world. There are many different ways in which Catholics uh, will enter into this holy season, many particular practices, concrete practices, uh, celebrations of the, the way of the cross, the stations of the cross with the parish community. Time set aside for daily scripture reading, daily prayer, uh, abstaining from meat uh, on the Fridays of Lent, uh, embracing a, a greater uh, penance in our lives. Uh, whatever we do, it's important that we do something concrete and specific and intentional. Uh, what we embrace as a Lenten discipline uh, ought not to draw the focus in upon ourselves, but make us more mindful of our brothers and sisters in need.